Deputy Speaker, I want to begin by saying something you might not expect. I'm asking you to believe Hamas. Believe them when they say they want to exterminate all Jews. Believe them when they chant from the river to the sea. Believe them because their actions and their evil speak volumes. Their deliberate and calculated actions on the 7th of October saw babies captured, caged and killed. It saw women sexually assaulted on the streets and children sexually assaulted in front of their parents and parents sexually assaulted in front of their children before they were murdered. In homes, places of love, security and safety, the most gruesome and cruel tortures and humiliations were inflicted on families. And in fields surrounding a music festival, young people were hunted like prey. And there were actions so evil and so horrific, they defile our shared humanity by recounting them. Believe Hamas, because they filmed, broadcasted and boasted of their crimes. Believe Hamas, because they continue to mistreat and kill hostages. Believe Hamas, because they have a history of murdering their own people. Like the Nazis and ISIS, our humanity underestimates this evil at our peril. Deputy Speaker, no matter our race, creed or nationality, we are all people of memory and story. We grapple with our histories of family and country, of understanding the good and the bad, pain and hope and the relationships that unite and divide. The whispers of history reside in us all. For Jewish people, these are the whispers of persecutions, pogroms and the Holocaust. So we know what it means when a Greens MP speaks of Jewish tentacles and argues publicly for the exclusion of Jewish people from charities, sporting groups, culture and politics. This is a sick conspiracy theory. We've seen this before, we know what it means and we know where it leads. We know what it means where businesses are boycotted for no other reason than that the owner is Jewish. We know what it means when art galleries are shunned or vandalised because they're supported by Jewish Australians. Hamas didn't just seek to brutalise Israel. They sought to unleash anti-Semitism across the world, and sadly they have. Deputy Speaker, like Jewish people around the world, I'm seeking to understand the complexities of our times. As a parent, I'm trying to explain why there are people that hate me and my family and wish us harm for no other reason than our faith tradition. And as an Australian, I wonder how our shared ethos is being corroded on our campuses and by extremist politicians of the far left. Deputy Speaker, this is a time for empathy. Empathy is not merely identifying with people who are just like us. It's something deeper. True empathy is seeing the humanity of someone when they are not like us, when we don't see ourselves in the face of another. It's a challenge for all of us, no matter our background. One of the groups I've learnt empathy from has been the local Persian community in our electorate. One of them brought a book to my office, as big as an old-fashioned telephone book. It was leather-bound, and in it were the names and the photos of tens of thousands killed by the sponsor of Hamas, the Iranian regime. I learned that whilst the government of Iran exports terror around the world, including to Gaza, its first victims are in fact the people of Iran. And I do think of the people of Gaza, many of whom live in fear of Hamas. We know that Hamas exercises the most vile punishments on its own citizens, on women, on gay people, on people of other faiths and anyone who might disagree with them. Deputy Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition is right. This is a time for moral clarity. And I think of our country and what lies ahead. Will Australians continue to see the humanity of the Jewish people? Or will we condemn Jewish people because of an ideology and conspiracy theories that say they embody privilege? Or, as the Greens imply, that we somehow have tentacles? To the members of the Greens I say, I don't have tentacles. Neither does my five-year-old son or my two-year-old daughter. Neither does my friend the member for McNamara or the member for Isaacs or the member for MacArthur, and neither do the patriotic Jewish Australians who contribute to the country they love by serving in the ADF, by serving in the police force, by supporting community organisations, by 
bolstering multiculturalism and by making this country stronger. We give back because that's what we're called to do and because that's what it means to be a good Australian. We don't have tentacles. We are human beings just like you. And so I say to the Greens, it is time to root out the anti-Semitism in your political party. This is a test of your moral courage and humanity. Time always exposes behaviours and motives, and your response to your fellow Australians will go down through history. Deputy Speaker, on the 5th of October, just prior to the Hamas attacks, the High Court Justice Jane Jago, who herself is not Jewish, gave what I think is an extraordinary and important speech. She gave the Zelman Cowan oration. And she focused the speech not on Cowan's extraordinary work as a jurist or as Governor General, but on anti Semitism. She reminded us that anti Semitism is the canary in the coal mine of global hatred. More than a threat to the Jewish people, anti Semitism is a broader symptom of an underlying loss of confidence in liberal democratic ideals and practices. The Hamas attacks were more than an attack on Israel. They were an attack on our shared democratic ideals. And our democratic ideals are always defended by people of goodwill. I saw that defence after the October 7 attacks, when members of a local Anglican church in my electorate brought flowers to my office because they wanted to let me know that the local Christian community were standing with me and other Jewish Australians and were thinking of us at this difficult time. And when constituents stop me regularly in the street just to let me know they are standing with the Jewish people. We saw it today with Nova Peres's brave statements and similar actions from Indigenous leaders like Marcia Langton, like Warren Mundine and Sean Gordon. And I've seen it in the genuine multi-partisan work on anti-Semitism I've been doing with my friend the member for McNamara and the member for Wentworth. This land, like so few in human history and like so few around the world, has been good to the Jewish people. It is a wonderful and underappreciated aspect of our broader Australian story. And, Deputy Speaker, I, will, I believe it will continue to be so if we as Australians, regardless of our faith, regardless of our background, continue to stand and resist those who would seek to deny the humanity of the Jewish people. Hear, hear.